Let's take a look at what is on the front page of uh, the stand. This is uh, the moment of truth for CAS as court rules. Now, for those who are, may not be aware, there is uh, a court ruling that uh, is set for today and KBC Channel 1 will be on the ground to give us more in regards to this live coverage, uh, live coverage on this particular uh, moment of truth for uh, even our President William Ruto. Remember, uh, President William Ruto's administration uh, is going to be on the spot today even as the Judiciary Review Court is set to rule today on the legality of the 50 chief administrative secretary positions. Now, a reeling from a bold move by the High Court on Friday to strike uh, down Ruto's first finance law, his uh, pet instrument allowing him to implement revenue raising measures to fund the lofty campaign manifesto that he had. Remember, this is the impending decision by the court on uh, the cabinet officials, uh, which is being closed, monitored, closely monitored by the House on uh, the Hill. Now, the gist of the CAS's petition is that the president violated the constitution and the law by unveiling the 50 positions, yet the official letter from the head of public service, Felix Koskei, directed the Public Service Commission to create the impact uh, dockets recommended only 23. That is the number. Only 23. Now, a notice on this decision seen by the star says that J Judge Kanye Kimondo, Hedwig Ogudi, and uh, Vizram Alim Al-Nashir uh, Al will read the examination in court on the third floor of Milimani Courthouse as from 9 a.m. Now, KBC Channel 1 will be broadcasting that particular uh, story in a bit this fine Monday morning. Remember, the moment of truth for Ruto CASs as court decisions on a petition that is taking place today. Should the judges strike down the petition, decision could worsen president's deepening setback he has suffered from the judiciary. Now the question is, will they strike down the position of the C? ASS. We invite you to give us your feedback in regards to this. A moment of truth. Ruto is under criticism of the 50 CASs that he had uh, given out who have been termed as an extra burden, especially considering the fact that the country is still struggling economically. Now that is on the front page of the Stan newspaper. Also still a relief for family as abducted city lawyer Hassan returns home safe. That is a story concerning uh, our own family that lost, uh, uh, that had their son who disappeared by abduction. The family of young city lawyer Abdullahi Hassan uh, he heaved a sigh of relief over the weekend after he returned home safely following a brief abduction. Uh, pickup blocked the, the pickup blocked his car at Sultan Hamud and abductors grabbed him and sped off. So the family was relieved when the man walked back home after being freed by his abductors. What a very uh, wonderful story there. Good news for the family also on the front page of uh, the Star newspaper. Kip Kemboi and uh, Jebet rule Nairobi City Marathon. Picture there, that is a picture of victory. Kip Kemboi and Jebet rule Nairobi City Marathon. Uh, Robert Kip, 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 Kip Kemboi tops the men's 42 kilometer while Naomi Chabet emerges victorious in the women's 42 kilometer run during the Nairobi City Marathon that took place yesterday. Now, these are just some of the stories making headlines on the front page of the Star.